Well, thank you very much, Chairman, for the kind invitation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the title page of the British Journal of Sports Medicine, and uh, I have published in this issue one of my uh, most favorite papers with the title, Give Hippocrates a Jersey, a prevention of injuries in sport in general. This paper was based upon a uh, keynote lecture I delivered to the IOC World Conference on uh, Prevention in Sport. Well, we got support by top players over the world because they do suffer by injuries. And we use them as a role models in our campaigns to prevent injuries. We also use them to empower medical profession in general in sport. Usually the medical profession is not really in the first line of the focus of the executives. But it should be, because we want to promote sport, physical activity, as health-enhancing leisure activity. But one of the issues is, do not get injured during your physical activities. So we think, based upon more than two decades of experience, that prevention is the key. Of course, you are orthopedic surgeons and you are dealing with the results of uh, trauma in sport, in injuries, you are fixing them. You still will have enough work in future, but I think that we have to focus also, you orthopedic surgeons who are looking after the athletes on the prevention. And we should start early with children because this is the time where the plasticity of the brain and nervous tissue is the highest to develop coordination skills. We have to prepare our athletes prior the season. And we have to use the appropriate evidence-based prevention programs. This is the important. And finally, if we have the evidence, then convince the executives about the health prevention and invest money. One of the programs which we have developed uh, with players, with experts, based upon scientific evidence and best practice, we call it the 11 plus. And prevention program to reduce or de mitigate the risk of injuries. There are a number of exercises, running exercises, um, different levels of skills, strength exercises, coordination, and so on. But the most important, which I want to share with you, we went with this program around the world and also to your country, to Thailand. The program is uh, translated into your language and it can be used, it's for free. You can download all this information from the Football Association and you can use it with your athletes. We have done a number of courses also in your country with physiotherapists, with uh, fitness trainers to educate the players to perform the uh, program. We think that we are entitled to promote with good conscience. Over the past 10 years, we have performed a number of prospective randomized trials. The first one was done in Norway with close to 2,000 female football players divided into two groups, intervention group and a control group. The result was pretty straightforward. The ladies, the football players, the women football players sustain in um, training more than 37% of uh, less injuries and during the matches over one season close to 30% less injuries. That motivated us to continue with this program and also provide evidence for male football, for men football. And we undertaken this uh, study in the United States with the collegiate uh, football players with um, close to 1,000 players in the control group and 800 players in the intervention group over the season of the year 2012. Again, the results pretty straightforward. The blue bars are the control group, the orange-yellow bars are the intervention group. 
we had up to 50% less injuries, particularly knee. ACL was significantly less injured in this population than in the control. So in the entire body, with the prevention program, close to 50% less injuries. This is sensational findings with 2,000 players in prospective randomized trial. We published that in the, British, in the American Journal of Sports Medicine, and we have received more than enough support. So in summary, 35% less injuries in female and 50% less injuries in male. How about the children? That was the next study which we have done in Switzerland, Czech Republic, Germany, and Holland with close to 4,000 children. It's a huge undertaking. And again, with the same methodology, and we had with the children 50% less injuries in the course of one year. With this particular, with this particular study, we have also analyzed the costs because in Switzerland we can track record every injury with the insurance company. And it was quite impressive, the relation to the reduction of the primarily medical costs. The yellow bar, the red bar, is the control group, and the blue bar is the intervention group. Half of the costs can be saved. So not only half of the injuries, it's a very simple equation, but also half of the costs. And that has impact. Meanwhile, these studies has been replicated in different countries on the different continents around the world and provided very strong evidence that it works. But you have to do it. This is a compliance study. The more you do, the more you, you will have a reduction of injuries for male and female. If you don't do, no reduction of injuries. The compliance is obviously the key factor. It should be performed about twice a week. It should be part of the regular warm-up. And of course, the coach is the target population. So very brief calculation. We have around the world approximately 300 million football players. And in team sports, we have about 1 billion athletes. One sixth of world population is in team sports. So the costs related to injuries are just enormous. And if we could cut it down by 20 to 30 percent, then there is a potential of saving billions and probably two digit or three digit millions in Thailand. One of the countries which I use as a role model is New Zealand. New Zealand has a unique insurance system. They have established governmental accident insurance corporation, very similar one to the Swiss National Insurance Corporation. Any injuries occurring is covered by the National Insurance Company. Now they have taken the implementation of this program and analyzed statistically what does that mean if they invest into prevention, what will cause the savings for the company over the course of the years to come? And they have calculated that every New Zealand dollar invested in prevention, education, will result in $8 saving on medical costs. They spent about $500 million New Zealand dollars a year to cover sports-related injuries. So they took a lesson from that and they want to save. The national government, the Ministry of uh, Sport, has decided with the insurance company to launch this program adapted for all sports in New Zealand. Of course, in New Zealand, the most popular sport is rugby. They are the number one, all blacks and they decided to use the All Blacks as a role model to promote the injury prevention. So they took the most popular sports, in the middle the rugby, and they used them. And I just show you how they are promoting. The 
takes 45 seconds. It's a contact sport. And they have four to five times more injuries than in other sports. So they have to do first here. Those who know rugby, they know what it is, the traditional haka. They get the opponent to scare. In this video, they combine the All Blacks, the number one of rugby team, with the school recreational rugby players. So the All Blacks are promoting the injury prevention programs throughout all school, all clubs. Not only for the rugby, but for the netball, for the football, and for the league smart. The program is called ACC Smart. So they are investing now two-digit million of um, New Zealand dollars, knowing that if it's done, it will save the future costs. We are just an example of the promotion video. And I think that could be taken as a role model for other countries. So I encourage you maybe to go a little bit in depth, and if you are responsible for some teams, then please consider in the future, that kind of uh, preventive program. warming up. My body is the tool of my trade, so I look after it. We're going to show you how ACC, ACC Sports, Sports Smart Warm Up. Let's go. So thank you very much for the attention, and I hope that you take some message from that. Thank you.